Good morning. Good morning. Common ground. Common ground. Good morning. Good morning. We're still around. We're still around. Mr. Josh. Miss Jeanette. Miss Liz. And Miss LJ. We're gonna do calendar and maybe learn about the moon and maybe learn our letters and sing a lot and play. And math also. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Common Ground. Penny Dog and I are so happy to see you. Did you have a wonderful weekend? I hope that you did. Well, we're gonna sing the days of the week before we get to our calendar. So let's sing them. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. One, two, three, four. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right, guys, so those were our days of the week. Let's have a song from Mr. Josh and then we'll come back and get started with our calendar. Five little ducks went out one day, over the hills and far away. Mama said, said, quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went out one day, over the hills and far away. have to go do? Go, go find them. She's gotta go find them, but she's so sad. Sad mama duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 quack. And all the little ducks came back. All right, all done, everybody. Thank you. All right, guys, did you guys like that song? I hope so. Well, we've got our calendars and here is our calendar for the holidays. And let's find out what today is. Today is World Lion Day. I know a song with a lion in it. So really quick, let's sing about the itsy bitsy monkey. The itsy bitsy monkey climbed up the coconut tree. Down came the coconut and hit him on the knee. Out came the lion with a mighty roar. And the itsy bitsy monkey went up the tree once more. That's so fun. And a perfect song for World Lion Day. So let's go to our calendar and figure out what day it actually is. So we know today is Monday and it's the first day of our week and it looks like it's the 10th. So let's put a smiley face on the 10th. Are you guys ready to count to 10 with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It's Monday, August 10th. All right. I think we need to see a video of our friends counting to 10. So here's a video all about counting to 10. All right, Leo, are you ready to count to 10? Yes! All right, here we go. Ready? We got 10 hats here. Let's do it. One, 
two, no, my hats fell. Three, four, five, six, seven. Help me, Leo. Okay, eight, nine, ten. Yay, <laughs> we did it. Good job, guys. What prints do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten paw prints. Hooray. Way to go, bud. Hi, guys. This is Miss Adela. We're going to be counting today using dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten dice. Bye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hi guys, it's Miss Yolanda. I miss you guys so much. I'm going to send you 10 kisses. Can you count them with me? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The last is going to be a big one. Ready? Ten. I miss you guys and I can't wait to see you. Now in English. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. Hi, Common Ground. It's Miss Victoria. I hope everybody's doing really well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll see you soon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Today was Friday. And Friday. Can you count the numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. I hope you guys liked that video. Up next, we have Mr. Golden Sun. Before we check our weather, so here's Mr. Josh with Mr. Golden Sun. Oh, Mr. Sun, 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 Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. Please, the children are asking you to please out so we can play with you, oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. What's the weather like today? Can we go outside and play? Let's take a look. I think Mr. Josh helped us out. Mr. Golden Sun is going to peer his head when a mostly sunny, very hot day. And remember, when it's sunny out, you've got to wear sunscreen. So slather up that sunscreen, stay in the shade, wear a sun hat, and play outside because it's so good for us. Up next, we have a story. So here you go. 
We have the Berenstein Bears and Too Much TV. This is a new one. Yeah, we're going to read it. It was a fine spring day in bear country. The bluebirds were singing, the trout were leaping, and except for one small cloud of dust billowing behind the school bus as it came over the hill, the air was sparkling clean. Mama Bear was inside the family's tree house fixing brother and sister bears after school snack. Yeah. Wow, it's a beautiful day out. It's always a beautiful day out. Brother and sister bear got off the school bus and came into the kitchen with hardly a hello. Then they did what they did every day. They took their milk and cookies into the living room and switched on the TV. There's no question about it, thought Mama. Those cubs are watching too much TV. Later, when Papa Bear came in from his shop and joined brother and sister, Mama became even more convinced. There's absolutely no question about it. The whole Bear family is watching too much TV. Aside from Mama. Aside from Mama, though. She wasn't quite sure how it happened. Maybe it began when the old fuzzy picture black and white set broke down and they got a big new color set. Or maybe it started when Papa put the big antenna up on top of the tree house and brought in pictures from all over bear country. But however it happened, one thing was sure. The bear family was spending more and more time watching television and less and less time with all the other things they might be doing instead. The Bear family had always had lively conversations around the dinner table, but not lately. Lately, they just sat around and chewed. Hey, they're having fun here. It looks kind of boring down there. They're not talking. The Cubs had all kinds of fun playing outdoors, but not anymore. They were too busy watching Nutty Bear and the Bear Stooges. The evening after dinner, when brother and sister scampered in to turn on the TV, Mama stopped them and said, We've been watching all together too much television around here. But Mama, said brother, Nutty Bear is coming on and we'll miss it. And the Bear Stooges, added Sister. Well, you'll just have to miss them, said Mama firmly. And furthermore, she added, you may as well get used to the idea because there's not going to be any television around here for a whole week. How many days are in a week? Seven. Seven, that's right. Seven days of no TV. Guess how many buckets we have. No TV for a week? said the shocked cubs, but Mama! Never mind the butts, said Papa. Your mother is absolutely right. There's a lot more to life than TV, like homework, for instance, and fresh air and sunshine and exercise. No TV for a week is an excellent idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's a sports show I want to watch. Uh-uh-uh, <laughs> just a moment, Papa, said Mama. No TV for a week means you, too. What? said Papa. You can't be serious. <laughs> so Papa Bear can't watch TV either. Uh-oh. Can Mama Bear not watch any TV either? I don't think she's going to. But Mama Bear was very serious. What about the news? protested Papa. I won't know what's going on in the world if I don't watch the TV news. Here, try this, said Mama. It's called a newspaper. And the weather? continued Papa. How will we know what the weather will be? Try this, said Mama. It's called putting your hand out the window to see if it's raining. Well, what are we supposed to do? Just sit around and talk? asked Brother. That'll be fine for starters, said Mama, settling comfortably into her rocking chair. But it had been so long since the Bear family sat around and talked 
but they had sort of forgotten how. It didn't really matter because pretty soon Papa fell asleep and snored so loudly that they couldn't, I mean, that they wouldn't have heard each other anyway. After school the next day, the cubs looked longingly at the TV, but Mama shooed them out to play. Brother's bike had a tire that needed pumping up and sister's trike needed a little oil. And while it seemed strange not watching television, it was fun riding bikes and trikes again. Sort of. That evening, the cubs worked on their homework, but it wasn't easy with that blank TV just sitting there staring. Then sister noticed an ad in Papa's newspaper, an ad for a TV special. Oh, Mama, she said, look, a special. No TV for a week, a for a week means no TV for a week, answered Mama. And besides, Mother Nature has a much bigger special waiting for us. We're going to sit outside and watch the stars come out. Watch the stars come out, complained sister. I don't know if I can stand the excitement, said brother. Oh, look at that beautiful sky. The excitement of what? The TV or... He was being sarcastic, meaning he was kind of making a joke. But as they sat out under the great sky, a spell came over the bears. It was all so big and beautiful. The bears stared at the sky. So far, not a single star. <gasps> Look, cried sister, something flying. That's, said Papa, out for their breakfast of insects. Breakfast, said brother. That's right, answered Papa. Bats sleep during the day, so this is their breakfast time. I see a star, cried sister. She had found the first tiny star. Whoa, look at that. Look how many came out. Soon there were others. And after a while, the whole sky was full of stars. And it was very special more special than anything they'd seen on TV. It was sharper picture too, and a much, much, much bigger screen. The Bear family did all sorts of interesting things over the next few days. So interesting that they hardly thought about the TV. They went on a nature walk and watched tadpoles hatch out of their eggs. They watched an orb spider spin a magnificent web. They went shopping at the Bear Country Mall. Sister used some of her savings to buy a knitting spool and some yarn. Brother bought a cube puzzle. They did have to keep an eye on Papa, though. Where is Papa Bear going? Let's see. When they were at the mall, the cubs caught Papa in the TV store sneaking a look at a game show. Be saying whoops. Another time he went downstairs in the middle of the night for a peek at the late, late movie. But Mama and the Cubs stopped him just in time. Mm -mm -mm. No thanks, Papa Bear. The next evening, it was the last day of their no TV week. The Bear family was having a lively conversation at the dinner table. They all agreed that the week had been a success. But Brother had a question. Mama, he asked, what is it you don't like about TV? What do you have against it? Goodness, said Mama, I don't have anything against TV. I like it. What I'm against is the TV habit. Sitting in front of it day after day like old stumps waiting for dry rot to set in. Well, said Brother, tomorrow I'm going to get a whole bunch of snacks and watch TV all day. Me too, said sister. Me too, said Papa. But the only one who did watch it all day was Papa. Brother got interested in his cute puzzle and finally solved it. Sister started knitting a rug on her knitting spool. Finally, even Papa had enough and decided to bait his hook for a couple of those leaping trout. What trout? Trout is a type of fish. Yeah. And good job, guys. Did you guys like that story? I'm so glad. 
Well, up next, we have another song from Mr. Josh. So get on up, it's time to dance. It's adorable. It's nice to see the humans ever change. Open your eyes, let's begin. Yes, it's really me, it's now a little bit. It's a lot to have a vibe. When you're staring at a day, what can I say except you're welcome? But the eyes are full from the sea. No need to pray to pray. You're welcome. I guess it's just my way of being. For another story. How about you guys? Here it is. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. For Nikki. Once there was a tree. And she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come and he would gather her leaves. And make them into crowns and play king of the forest. And he would climb up her trunk. and swing from her branches and eat apples and they would play hide and go seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by. And the boy grew older. And the tree was often alone. Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away and the tree was very happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. Then one day the boy came back 
and the tree shook with joy. She said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children, so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come boy, she whispered, come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. So the boy cut down her trunk and he made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. After a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are weak for apple. Uh, my teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I'm sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come boy, sit down, sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. What a great story. I hope you guys liked this. I liked sharing it with you. All right, guys, I hope you liked that story. We have one more song from Mr. Josh coming up, and we will see you tomorrow. So, bye. Hi, everybody. Mr. Josh here, back for another round of the Common Ground Rock the Blocks concert series. Today, we are doing You Are My Sunshine, a personal favorite of mine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. When skies are gray, you'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time.